So in this uh, chapter, we're going to deal with the concept of an annuity. An annuity is an investment that has a regular uh, fixed payment amount, and then you save over time. So we're introducing basically a regular payment amount. So let's take a look at question number one. It says you deposit $1,000. Now you might be tempted to put that in as a present value, but notice each year into an account. So it's a regular deposit of $1,000. So that's what the payment amount is for. Well, when we're making regular payments into an account in an investment. We've got 4% interest, so we put that in there, or just the 4. Uh, compounded annually, so we need to take account of that. Annually is once a year, or on the apps, annual, annually, 25 years. Uh, the thing that's missing, uh, now sometimes you have to put this in, sometimes you don't, but that there was no initial deposit in addition to the thousand dollars per month so when our thousand dollars per year that was put in we're going to calculate on the future value uh, the number of periods is one times the number of years so we just put 25 in here click on the future value button and we arrive at Forty-one thousand six hundred forty-five dollars and rounding ninety-one cents. Okay, so that's how we do an annuity on a regular deposit into an account that pays out. So that was uh, question number one. For number two. Let's take a look at this example. We're going to deposit $3,000 each year. So again, that's going to be a payment amount. It's going to go away from us, so it's negative. There is no additional upfront deposit. It's earning 7%. It says compounded annually. So we'll put the one down here, or annually. Annual. Um, we want it for 15 years. That's 1 times 15, giving us 15 here. There's just one slot that we haven't got filled in, and that's what we calculate on. So we push the button, get the future value. We're going to have $75,387, and rounding will get $0.07. Cents. $3,000 a year, every year, for 15 years. Okay, let's take a look at number three, and then in four, we're going to get an additional calculation. We're going to figure out how much we put in so that we can figure out how much interest we earned. So for three, we do the same thing. We need to know what our future value is going to be, how much we're going to have in there. So for three, we deposit $1,000 each year into an account. $1,000 each year, regular deposits. It's not an upfront one, it's a regular amount, earning 8%. Uh, compounded annually, that's important. So it's one, or we put annual from the drop down list. We're going to have it there for 10 years. So we have one times 10. So this is the number of periods is just going to be 10. We will click on the future value button. And what we will see, if we've got everything in here correctly, we should get $14,486.56. Okay. Now the, that's, the, uh, that's the question, that's the answer to the A question. The B part is how much money will we put into this account? Let's think about it. We're putting $1,000 every year for 10 years, $10,000. Um, but to formalize that a little bit, we will think of this is that uh, the B question is that we will always take the amount of the payment times the number of periods, which is we're, we're listing as N. Okay. 
So we'll take our thousand dollars times ten, and that gives us ten thousand that we put in. To figure out, and that's, that's our answer for the B part. To figure out how much interest we've earned, well, we put in ten thousand. Anything over the ten thousand is interest, right? Uh, so we take the amount of our future value. And again, this calculation will always be future value minus the, the total of payments, which is here. Okay, so we're going to take our 14,486.56. We're going to subtract 10,000, and we'll see we have earned 4,400. $86.56 in interest. Okay, so that's the answer to the C part. For question number four, similar type thing with some slightly different figures. We're depositing $100 each month. $100 each month, so that's under payment is minus 100. No present value. We are going to do this each month, so there's a 12 here or monthly. We're going to have 6% interest compounded monthly, and we're going to leave it on deposit for 15 years. So it's going to be 12 times 15, which is 180 periods. Um, when we click on the future value button, we will see we get 29,081 dollars and 87 cents. So to answer the B part, again, we're going to take the payments times the number of periods. So in this case, payments are 100 multiplied by the number of periods, which is 180. So we've made 180 deposits of $100 each. That gives us 18,000 as our answer to B. And this will allow us to answer the C question, which is how much interest did we get? Well, anything above the 18,000 is interest, so we take our $29,081.87. We subtract off 18,000, which is what we put into the account, and we got that the interest that came back to us is 11,000. Zero eight one point eight seven in interest. Okay. Deposit two hundred dollars every month into an account, so that's a payment. There is no present value, no lump sum up front. We're going to get three percent interest and we're going to compound monthly. So that is 12 times, how long are we going to do this? 30 years of savings. That is 12 times 30 is 360 periods, 360 months in 30 years. Uh, we first need to get the future value of what, the, what we will end up with. So this is going to give us the answer to the A part. We do this, we end up with $116,547.38. Again, we're going to want to find out how much interest, but before we can do that, we have to know how much we put in personally. So we put in $200 every month for 360 months. So the B part, we put 200 times 360. Multiply that out, we get $72,000 that we personally put into this account. Everything above the $72,000 is interest, so to calculate that, we take our future value, what we ended up with at the end, 
and we subtract off what we put in. And this will give us how much we earned. Um, again, at 3%, it's, it's not uh, amazing stuff, but it's not bad either. We ended up earning $44,547.38 over those 30 years. Better than burying the money in the ground under a tree or something, right? So that's how we calculate uh, annuity values and then also figure out how much interest we earn from an investment.